I want to talk about talking. More specifically, language and meaning.、Uh, in one of my earlier videos, it is titled How to Become a Wizard, and I'll have it linked at the end of this video. I explain the difference between spells and rituals, and I go over symbols. And it is important to understand symbols. And I'm going to try and explain to you why this is a very important lesson. You see, this thing, this tricky thing that we all try to put our finger on that we call meaning, is our modus operandi.、Uh, that is to say, that it is, it is. The baseline of function for us. We are meaning apprehension creatures. We, it is automatic. We,、uh, Jordan Peterson talks about this how reality maps meaning onto us.、Uh, the way that I phrase it is that we. As human beings are meaning distilleries. And I talk about this in my video,、uh, The Meaning of Life Explained. And where I'm going with all of this is for example, when you talk, you don't think about what you say before you say it. I mean, obviously, people they write speeches, they,、uh, they write literature, and you You think about things before you speak, but you don't think about what you're going to say before you say it. You more or less have a direction that you want to go, or more accurately, you have a meaning that you want to try and communicate. You see, all language is is a symbol applied over meaning. It would be a Very mentally laborious task to literally and consciously arrange letters and words in your mind before you say them. As I'm speaking to you now, I don't know which word will follow the next. I have an in, I have a meaning that I am trying to communicate with you, and I am applying. Words, aka symbols, over this meaning. And if you happen to have the same decoder as I,、uh, in other words, if you speak the same language as me, you can receive these symbols and with some luck, you can perceive the meaning that I'm trying to communicate to you. And I'm hoping that this makes sense to you. And it, it brings up the subject of symbols. You see, a part of this channel is I want to shed light on the day to day magic that we all experience but have become numb to because we take this all for granted. We look at art and we look at depictions of things, and our eyes just sort of. Glaze over them. However, when you actually analyze it, you'll see that it's full of symbols. It's full of things that, to a casual viewer, it is just decoration. But these things were placed there intentionally. It has meaning. People. Don't do things for no reason. They may not know why they're doing it, but that does not mean that there is no reason. There is meaning and reason in everything. And there are all sorts of symbols, and some people study them. They're called symbologists, but this is typically limited to visual symbols, typically depicted in art. But you can, you can essentially think of 
this as the primal language. Symbology or symbolism is the first language. And I know that this may sound kind of mumbo jumbo hoopla, but a symbol is material placed over meaning. It is usually it is usually a representation of something that if you simply try to describe it with words, the task would be too cumbersome. It is so much information that to try and depict it in that way, it just it would be inefficient. So we have created architecture over this meaning in order for you to quickly and visually at a glance to receive this mountain of information. And symbols can vary wildly in their complexity and their meaning. Now, if you are, or if you have the proper eyes to see, there are all sorts of symbols all around you. There are the obvious artistic visual symbols that you see in paintings. There are non-visual symbols. Uh, you, you may, uh, there are, there's symbolism in music. There's symbolism in dance. Now, when you are the type of person that sees, let's say your mental circuit for this sort of thing, your symbology detection circuit in your brain, when this portion of your brain is hyperactive and you are able to see the symbolism all around you, it is currently viewed at as a mental disorder. And there is obviously a balance to all of this because the mystery is infinitely complex. And once you start to dive too deep into it, you can fry your brain. But it is true that everything we encounter is a symbol. Um, it, we have symbols for everything, not just art, the furniture in your apartment, they are all in your brain. You perceive them as symbols. I guess I can explain it as this, that the sofa is a symbol for that thing that you go and sit on. Uh, YouTube is a symbol for that thing that you go and watch mindless content on. Everything that we see, touch, do, they are all symbols applied over meaning. This is where in my previous video, how to become a wizard, this is essentially how a wizard views the world. And when you realize that human beings are symbol uh, well, a psychologist would say that we are pattern recognizing machines, but I say we are symbol perceiving entities. And when you realize that this is our nature and human beings are highly reactive to various symbols, you can manipulate them. This is what celebrities do. This is how social media works. I mean, the clothes that you wear, you are accumulating symbols in order to change the way that, or in order to influence the way that other people see you, or in essence, the meaning that you want them to perceive from you. Uh, this is what I call low level magic it is a spell is simply an aggregation of symbols usually for a desired effect this is why these celebrities that you all worship they always look a certain way they wear the nice clothes they have straight uh white teeth 
they know all of the symbols that will trigger certain circuits in your brain to make you perceive them a certain way. And this happens on all sorts of levels. Uh, propaganda, government agendas. This even happens in interpersonal relationships. I'm sure if you're old enough, you've come across a partner who was very good at manipulating you. This is on many levels magic and sorcery, but it all depends on your perspective and the lens through which you choose to view life. And as I've stated before in this channel, I just want to give you a different set of eyes that you can use to perceive the world if you're willing to accept them. And a, a, a spell is an accumulation of symbols and a ritual what we all perceive as uh, rituals is simply just an accumulation of spells and they build upon each other. I, I always found it interesting when you look at rituals in nature, because we tend to have a dirty mind when it comes to rituals. We think some sort of satanic nonsense, but you are surrounded by rituals all the time. Uh, one of my favorite videos I came across on Instagram, as you can see a bird uh, participating in a mating ritual. All sorts of animals have mating rituals, rituals prior to combat. It is just something that they do. But people never look at that and say and, and think, at least, what does that mean when this bird does this sound and makes this gesture, what is the meaning of it? No one thinks of it that way. And they surely don't think that we as uh, human animals, they don't think that we have our own rituals. They think that that belongs to the Neanderthals. But I assure you, we are all still animals and we follow most of the same rules as our animal family on this planet. And we have our own rituals as well. But to wrap all of this up, I made this video with the intention of, I guess, arming you in a way. Once you become aware or once you are able to understand what I'm getting at here, you can you can more clearly see when you are being manipulated. And once you have a good working pair of eyes, you'll be able to see the meaning all around you and you will be born again in a way and you can become what I, com I always repeat. Once you have this different set of eyes and you can see the meaning around you, you will be reborn in a way and you can become what I call a friend of the pattern. This is essentially what every single religious and spiritual practice calls for to become a friend of the pattern or a friend of God, however you choose to put it. Um, but maybe I'll talk about that in a different video. Uh, until next time, y'all have a blessed day.